This is just too exciting. Okay, I'm very excited about this. The FTX trial day four, the fraud was in the code. Please tell me they literally had plans in HTML. That's all I want. That's all I want in life is somehow, not only can you hack NASA and the government apparently with HTML, but it literally is going to be like, we, we planned our fraud and we used HTML5 <laughs> diversion control our thoughts in a nice markdown experience uh, the jury got a taste of code review as they examined a falsified insurance fund and the infamous ftx alameda research backdoor um yeah all i know is ftx is completely screwed up so this will be exciting. All right. We got our first glance at the FTX code base on Friday. The prosecution brought out GitHub screenshots as they questioned cooperating witnesses, uh, witness Gary Way. This can't be real. Dude, screenshots of GitHub. What is the world we are living in? Oh, my goodness. This can't happen. This cannot be real. It cannot be actually real. The former CTO of FTX, who at various times was responsible for the code bases, powering both FTX and Alameda Research, Wang has pleaded guilty to four charges. Damn, not only has he pled guilty to four charges, but they're bringing him out and making him do code reviews? I mean, code reviews themselves is like... Imagine, imagine if you had to do a code review... In front of everybody, cruel and unusual punishment. I know backdoor Wang over here is just, he is testifying against Sam. I know that he's testifying against Sam, but he still has, he has all those charges. Man, damn. Although there is some risk of confuse, confusing the jury while presenting them with code. Really? I'm not even convinced people that know how to code can read code. Okay, let alone, now you're going to just a jury of your peers? Okay. Okay. Uh, prosecutors had Wang step through the, uh, what the code is doing in a way that seemed pretty clear to me. It probably helped that FTX's engineers wrote decently clean code with descriptive variable names and concise functions and chose very human readable language Python. <laughs> Committing fraud with good clean code. Clean code. Commit fraud. Note to self, if you're going to write code to do fraud, make it messy and unreadable to reduce the chances it will later be put in front of a jury as evidence. If you can bring out a piece of code as a screenshot, they actually sound like they're pretty good uh, engineers. I'm not going to lie to you. They, this actually sounds like really good engineering, right? Like if you could take a picture of Python code <laughs> and people could tell that it was fraud, that's crazy. Much of the conversation revolved around the allow negative flag that was introduced to the FTX code base on August 1st, 2019. Wang testified that Sam Bankman Freed had asked him and Nishad Singh, the former FTX engineering director who had also pled guilty, uh, to add the flag. GitHub screenshots show Singh made a code change to add the column in the code base or in the database, and adding logic to exempt accounts with the flag from checks that would otherwise determine if they had in, uh, sufficient funds to withdraw. All right, let's read this. If not, account allow negative. If not, allow negative. So only positive. If balance available, ignoring collateral. If ignore collateral, else balance available is less than zero. Bad request. There's an if statement inside my if statement. I don't read a lot of Python. Okay, I don't read like a ton of Python, but I didn't realize if statements could have baby, baby if statements. I assume this is just a ternary. It's just, is this just ternary? Yo, dog. Yo, dog. <laughs> the real crime is on the else. <laughs> Absolutely. The real crime is on the else. Okay. A later change by Wang himself also exempted accounts with the flag from ever being liquidated. Liquidating equals margin account, fraction, maintenance, requirement, blah, 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 decimal times this. And not allow negative. Oof. Okay. Obviously, rule of thumb. Rule of thumb, everybody. If you're going to commit fraud, at least get some low-level intern that works there for like two months to go and do this change. But Backdoor Wang over here made the changes himself. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're going to commit fraud, at least do it well, okay? If you're going to commit fraud, at least do something about it. This is ridiculous. Prosecutors, I mean... You're telling me the CTO of FTX is just dropping code changes in the Python for just regular old-fashioned stuff? Prosecutors took this opportunity to point out that practically the same day this change was being made at Bank Bankman-Fried's uh, direction, Bankman-Fried was out on Twitter claiming that Alameda's accounts is just like everyone else's. 
How are you going to resolve the conflict of interest of running your own uh, derivative exchange and actively trading against the market at the same time? People complain that crypto haze trades against the market, yet FTX in your shop is out there. Alameda is liquidity provider on FTX, but their account is just like everyone else's. Alameda incentives is just for FTX to do as well as possible. By far, uh, the dominant factor is helping to make the trading experience as good as possible. I guess we're just supposed to believe you won't get preferential treatment. <laughs> Let's go, bitch hide. If allow fraud, do. Yep. Uh, this is fantastic. Dude, this age, this age like a fine glass of milk. Uh, all right. Backdoor Wang testified that this allow negative flag was a special privilege given only to Alameda Research's trading accounts. And a database screenshot also showed the eff uh, effectively unlimited line of credit that Alameda Research could dip into. I know this is going to be difficult for a lot of people in chat, but first off, some people work with, with, with white theme, okay? I know that's going to be hard, but probably the more offensive thing going on here is that someone is raw-dogging squeal. I know this is going to be hard, but we're going to look at some squeal. This is not an ORM, okay? This is just squealing. We're just raw-dogging a bit of squeal, okay? I know. I know. Select ID, user ID, min, uh, let's see, min IMF, maker fee, taker fee, liquidity, uh, backstop provider, borrow, can withdraw below, borrow, allow negative, can trade futures, use FTT collateral, ignore IMF factors, free fee voucher, charge interest on negative USD, spot margin enabled, spot margin lending enabled, account type from accounts where user ID uh, equals this auth and ID equals nine. Maker fee is negative. They get paid to make things? Did you try to scroll the image? I did try to... Shut up. I did try to scroll the image, okay? Look at the borrow column. All right, all right, hold on. User, uh, let's see. Borrow, take a, take a. Borrow. That's a big number. That borrow is a big-ass number. Okay, that borrow right there, that's a, that's, a, that's a number right there, okay? I'm not sure what number that's supposed to look like. It looks oddly like a power of two that's been multiplied by a million. It honestly looks like two to the 16 times a million. Okay, strange, strange. I think if I wanted to see anything, I think something that would have been really cool to see is give me all accounts with allow negative to be true. And if it only came back with one account, to me, that would be super damning. Uh, anyways, Backdoor Wang explained that the Alameda had not started out with such a high credit limit, but that periodically the trading firm had run into issues placing trades because they didn't have enough collateral, and Sam Bankman-Fried kept asking him to increase their credit limit to prevent it from happening. According to Wang, uh, the limit was originally set to a few million dollars, but it was then increased to one billion, and then after that, they ran up against a limit too. Uh, gosh, if you're running up to a credit limit on a billion, what the hell are you doing? Uh, Bankman Freed asked him to set it to a number so large that they wouldn't likely hit the limit. At that point, Wang set it around uh, to $65 billion. Dude, that's crazy. Finally, prosecutors questioned Wang about FTX's insurance fund, which was ostensibly supposed to protect both FTX and its customers from trades that went badly even more quickly than exchanges' uh, risk engine could account for. FTX published the fund's supposed balance on their website and bragged widely about its existence, including the testimony to U.S. Congress. However, according to Backdoor Wang, the number shown on the website was falsified. Oh, I see. I see, Judo. Yeah, because crypto had this nice long just falling knife experience. So they probably started opening up positions uh, are extremely high leverage and attempt to catch up with their losses, making long side trades in a bear cycle. Could be, could be. No, please don't spam. Please don't spam the chat with backdoor Wang. Okay. Uh, I don't know what a uh, attorney USA uh, is the number real Wang. No. So it's a fake number. Yes. <laughs> I love lawyering. Is the number real? No. Is the number fake? Yes. Like, what's the other option here? Was the real number higher or lower than the fake number? Lower. All right. The code snippet shown uh, to the jury demonstrated how Nishad Singh wrote some code that would update the insurance fund amount by adding it to the daily trading volume multiplied by a randomish number around 7,500 and dividing it by a billion. Get change. All right. Current session, session query, so, uh, some trade size by price. Okay. Size, price, filter, created app. Time delta, one day, scalar, or decimal, return, FT2, uh, NumPy, random, uh, normal distribution, 7,500 uh, 7, with a 3,000 standard de deviation. Is that what that's supposed to be? Is the normal distribution random supposed to be 7,500 as the, the, the tit and then 3,000 as the standard? 
Is that what that's supposed to be? By the way, doing a random number distribution, doing a random number normal distribution in every single art or every single language but Python is impossibly hard. You realize how much code I had to add to Reggie to get a normal distribution? Random number? Very, very annoying. Look at that. It's literally just making up a random distribution to do this. That's pretty damning. One could possibly explain away an inaccurate number, say one that was hard-coded into the website and never changed to reflect the true fund balance by saying that they had correctly represented it at one point in time. Absolutely, this is a great argument and forgot to change it. But it's really hard to come up with a good explanation for why the fund was being incremented by a random fluctuating number on a normal distribution that was no way tied to any actual account balance beside the obvious, that FTX was trying to present a falsified but convincing number to customers. That would be fraud. Damn, cotton, Python, and 4K. You know what? I'm not sure what's worse. Having screenshots and doing code reviews in a court or doing that but with Python. Oh, man. Feels bad. Just just Python. Just so much English going on in this. Jury code reviewing. Elsewhere in the code, it's possible to observe that the amount of FTT in the fund was actually represented by a hard-coded value in the user interface and was not pulling from external data sources to get a real number. Let's see. Insurance, database, fund. All right. Classes, use styles, and insurance. Oh, look at this. It's like a little bit of a... Look at that little thing. It's a little bit of... Jo- a little, look at this. JSX. Okay. I knew it. JSX is evil. Okay, why haven't you understood this yet? Okay, JSX representing fraud right here. I've been telling you this for how long? How long have I been telling you this? Here we go. Let's see, size, USD size. Let's see, coin size format, blah, 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 blah. Format this much, okay, last updated. That's just a, that's just a number. The real crime is that header five. That's pretty crime. JSX equals FTX, yeah. Not fraud. Let's see. Uh, This wasn't highlighted uh, to jurors, though, uh, probably because the randomized number is far more damning. As prosecutors continued to question uh, backdoor Wang, he explained that there was uh, repetitive incidents in which FTX suffered losses that exceeded the real smaller amounts of assets that had been set aside in the insurance fund. One such example was in 2021 when a trader was able to exploit a bug in FTX's margin system that allowed them to take out massive positions in mobile coin. (laughs) Can we all just take a moment before we continue? Can we just take a moment and just remember the fact that people literally thought they were going to make money other than the people who created it off a coin called mobile coin. Anyways, they eventually liquidated and FTX suffered a loss of several hundred million dollars, according to uh, Backdoor Wang. He had a coin uh, of the day uh, of the day thing in 2017. Yes. Okay. So I wasn't crazy. Coin of the day. Yeah. Prosecutors haven't mentioned it, but Sam Bankman-Fried would go on to testify under oath in front of U.S. Congress in May 2022 that the insurance fund has paid out uh, a net total of 9.5 million in the preceding three years. And that single biggest daily uh, drawdown from FTX.com insurance fund was $4.7 million. They did, however, play a clip from the Odd Lots podcast in which Sam Bankman-Fried lied to the interviewer Matt Levine, saying that FTX risk management engine was so good that they had never had a day where there's more money that we lost in blowouts to revenue that we made from just trading fees. Backdoor Wang mentioned, Backdoor Wang went on to testify that mobile coin losses and the other similar losses that exceeded the amounts available in the insurance fund were taken on by Alameda. That is, Alameda took over the account's position and collateral, effectively absorbing its own loss. Wang said that uh, Bankman Freed reason, uh, reasoned that FTX's balance sheets are more public than Alameda's uh, balance sheets, that investors have access to FTX's finances, but not Alameda's fi- uh, finances. I lived right off of Alameda, by the way. I was really close to that. Impressive if true. Not true, though. (laughs) Unfortunately, uh, income taxation is unconstitutional. Uh, Indeed. Just the previous day, we uh, heard testimony from Paradigm venture capitalist Matt Huang, uh, during which balance sheets were shown to the jury that showed $63 million in estimated trading expenses and $63 million in estimated other expenses all of 2021, clearly omitting the several hundred million dollars lost due to the mobile coin incident. Imagine losing several hundreds of of millions of dollars. Damn. The defense team only briefly questioned Backdoor Wang before the court session ended, but began by suggesting to the jury that he might be saying what the government wants to hear in hopes of receiving a lighter sentence. He faces a maximum of 50 years in prison, but will likely receive a substantially shorter or even no, no, 
no custodial sentence due to his cooperation. They also tried to offer an alternative explanation for the allowed negative flag, that Alameda was in charge of doing conversions from U.S. dollars to stablecoins, and for a brief period in this transaction, they needed to borrow the funds from FTX before returning them to in stablecoin form. Why they would need a $65 billion ceiling to do so, however, was not addressed and seemed likely to come up in a redirect when the court resumes on Tuesday. In Tuesday, uh, Tuesday will bring some testimony of Caroline Ellison, former Alameda Research CEO and on and off girlfriend to Sam Bankman Freed. She is also she is expected to be a star witness in this case, and the de- defense team has already teased their blame Caroline defense uh, opening statements. It, didn't they also didn't Sam also say that she couldn't have any stock? Wasn't that also like another big point of contention is that she also had no stock and she was CEO pump and dump confirmed. Blame Caroline. I know. Admittedly, uh, I may not be the best judge of this coming from the software world. Okay. And number two, uh, some have wondered why Backdoor Wang chose such a seemingly arbitrary number as 65. My best guess is that he meant to round to 65.5535. Power of two, baby. Power of two. Note in the transpose five and three. Picking a number 65535 because it was meaningful in computer science as the largest possible value of an unsent 16 bit number. Let's go. That's just a guess, though. I can't think of anything better. That's literally my guess as well. Let's go, Molly. Oh, Molly, you're the best. Dude, this was good. Did he just say backdoor wang? I have said backdoor wang many times. You know, okay, so I'm going to say something that's probably a bit controversial. Are you guys ready for this? I think that the YouTubers that promoted FTX did a pretty shitty thing. There's a lot of big YouTubers that were talking about it. That was an absolute zero. That was a Kelvin. Kelvin zero take. <laughs> Lukewarm take. Just like... Your IQ. That was by far the greatest burn of my lifetime. Okay, hey, Just, I don't know if you just saw there, Just Fen, but I just got destroyed. Okay, I just got destroyed. The name is Lukewarm IQ with Jen.